was actually seven and a half years ago. Someone sent me a, an undercover video of actually a, a pig farm. And I was already vegetarian at the time, so it's not like I had been eating pork. But I was so devastated by it, and it sort of led me down this YouTube rabbit hole of like watching videos of dairy farms and um, egg farms. And so and I sent it to everyone that I could. And you know, even though I've seen a lot of that kind of footage, I really wanted to see it for myself and hopefully make something that could impact other people to want to change their minds as well. Nothing really prepares you for seeing it in person. You know, it's really just, it's so much more awful than you could even imagine. These are the gestation crates. These pigs that are now pregnant will spend their entire lives in this barn. They will never feel fresh air or see the light of the sun. After years in this farm, giving birth time and time again, they will be put on a truck and sent to slaughter. It makes me angry, actually, when I really think about it and when I think about the way that those animals are being kept. All the different rooms that we went into were, just felt like hell on earth to me, but really that maternity ward was just, especially the mother pigs, you know, that was probably the worst places I've ever been. We're going to move him. He's trapped in the placenta. So we're going to try to move him and put him closer to his mom. It's like you can't even, you know, I just kept thinking about my sister who just had a baby and just thinking about, you know, how beautiful that was. And just that instant desire to nurture and protect your child. So I can't imagine how awful it must be to be literally trapped and crushing your own babies and not able to do anything about it. I just can't imagine what that must, must be like to have to do that over and over and over until, until they kill you. Pigs are like an easier entry point because they are sort of more similar to us and more similar to the pets that we love. But then the chicken farm, um, I've just never experienced anything like that. I still feel just physically sick from being there and just the smell.
bred to grow so quickly and so much that they just can't even bear the weight of their own bodies. You have to meet people where they are, and you can't force people to change. All you can do is be an example. And I don't know, I don't know what the right way is. It's such a struggle because this is horrific abuse that is happening, and it's destroying our planet. You have to at least acknowledge and look at where this is coming from and what's happening to these animals. Hi, you guys. You got an itch? I've always loved animals since I was little. Like, just been obsessed with them. I wanted to be a pet shop lady my whole life. Like, I just wanted to be around animals. And I understand that not everyone feels that way. Not everyone has the same affinity towards animals. You know, I think a lot of people, even after they do see things like that, are still have some level of denial because it is just so painful. So painful to imagine that, that, that that's really how the world works and that's really what we've been um, party to. And so if you can't find the empathy for the animals, just for the cruelty and the pain and suffering that is their lives, like, look at your health. Do it for your health. Do it for the, the planet. Do it for the environment. There's so many different reasons to not keep animals in this way.